Hello, hello everyone, my name is Laura and this is my channel Laura's Little Library and welcome to today's video which is my July TBR. So we are just kind of chilling in my parents' dining room slash kitchen area. Um, there just isn't a really good spot to film. In this house, like literally the only window that lets in sunlight is the one behind me and I know that's like bad. This light is terrible and there's no good background like in the kitchen and so we're just gonna have to deal with indoor lighting and like this kind of background. You can see the board games and that's kind of the only interesting thing. So anyway, let's get into the video. It's my July TBR. Normally I try to set like six-ish books on my TBR. Uh, hopefully, you know, I, I generally tend to have like six physical books that I want to read and then like some audio books that I also just have and should read because of that. But this month I have more than six books, but I don't have near as many audio books right now like I normally do, which I'm kind of excited about. Um, so yeah, let's just jump in. I'm gonna say that my current read is A Master of Gin. And I am not very far into this, not very far at all, um, but this is due back in the library, like, soon. So, I will be reading this one, and then the other book that I have on audio, but I also have from the library, is Never Night by Jay Kristoff. These two and, like, one other book are kind of left over from my June TBR, books that I put on there that I didn't think I was going to get to, and I didn't, but I still want to read them. So... This is one, and then the last one of the leftovers from June that I didn't get to is My Dearest Darkest by Kayla Cottingham. This is a queer, I believe sapphic, um, dark academia, and I just read a book like this and I'm super excited and I'm very much in the mood for it, so I'm excited to read this one hopefully this month. Um, so those are kind of my leftovers from June. Uh, that are queer that I still want to read and then I have one other book that I was supposed to read with a friend of mine in June and then life happened and I just didn't quite get to picking it up but I still want to read it soon so I can still talk about it with her um, and that is For the Throne by Hannah Witten. I loved this first book For the Wolf. I absolutely adored it. I devoured it so quickly so honestly I think I just need like a couple days of like not working 12 hour shifts <laughs> um, and I can like read this in the evenings I'm super excited everything else are like physical books I'm gonna try and get the audiobooks for some of these but not all of them have audiobooks and some of them have like super long lines <laughs> on the audiobooks so we'll see it might just have to be a physical reading month for me which my physical reading has been down so much but that's because I've been like working a ton so that's why I've been listening to like more audiobooks and I talk about audiobooks all the time but anyway the rest of these are like contemporary romance bright colors you know like things that I think of when I think of summary reads so I've got instructions for dancing by Nicola Yoon or Nicola Yoon I've heard it both ways and I don't know which way it's right and this is about a girl who when she looks at a couple she sees how they're gonna break up she sees their ending so she's not super inclined to start her own romance. It's short. Um, it was given to me by a friend, so it's not an actual. I didn't receive the arc, she did, and now she's giving it to me. So just like a, a fun summary romance. I read one other book. Yeah, I read Everything Everything by this author and I didn't mind it, but I think I will enjoy this one more, hopefully. And then of course, I have my Emily Henry books. I haven't forgotten about these. They're just, they're not queer, so I didn't read them in June, but I fully plan. I've been saving them for summer. So I'm finally excited to hopefully this month, they will be like top priority. People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. I read Beach Read, I loved it. This is like a Friends to Lovers, Second Chance, something like that, you know. Which is not my cup of tea, but I like Emily Henry, so we'll see how it goes. However, Book Lovers came out this past spring, this past May, and it's an Enemies to Lovers book publishing world based romance. During the summer, I am so excited. It is like an, an editor and an agent, and they do not get along, but then they end up meeting 
uh, in this small town in the summer and then they have an enemies to lovers and I'm so excited. I will not let myself read this until I read people we meet on vacation because I am reading them in publishing order. Um, but I just cannot tell you how excited I am to read it and I can't believe I haven't read it already, but it's literally been out for two months, so. Hmm. It seems like it came out so long ago though. And then the, nope, I have two more books. I almost said the final. Uh, the next book I have on here has been on a couple of my TBRs in the past and that is Sway With Me by Sayed M. Masood. I know, I'm probably saying that name wrong. I'm sorry. It's just kind of the feeling in me. I'm, I'm excited to read this. I'm here to pick it up. I have two copies of this which is unnecessary. So I'm going to read this finished copy, and then if I like it, I'll keep both. If I don't, then I'll just try and get rid of the ARC, which I'll probably put in like a free little library. But yeah, so I really want to see how I feel on this one to kind of figure out how I feel in general, so I know what to keep. But yeah, it's, it's something about there is a wedding happening, and someone is hired to like disrupt the wedding or like does something that's like, oh my word. So I am excited for that one. And then the final book is not one that I ever thought I would pick up, but my friend has given it to me, so I'm going to read it because she gave it to me, so <laughs> makes sense, right? Um, and that is Beauty Queens by Libba Bray. Um, I think it's about just a bunch of like the Miss Teen dream pageant. Uh, they go on a trip to the beach and then they end up getting like stranded or something, so then they kind of become survivalists, which, yeah, it's going to be, I'm fine with reading it. It's not too long, which is why I'm like, I'm putting it on a TBR, um, but yeah, definitely very summer vibes, so, and I do hope to go to the beach a few times this month, please. I live half an hour, like 45 minutes away from the beach, and I have not yet gone, which just blows my mind, but I work Saturdays, so it's really difficult to, like, go to the beach on Saturday when I work a seven-hour shift. I just get too tired. So yeah, those are all the books on my July TBR. It's, it's quite a bit, and I have no idea if this is going to be a good reading month or not. Again, because I don't have a majority of these on audio, and I'm, I'm, I'm busy. I just, I just am busy. That's the plan. Those are the books. Wish me luck. Let me know what you're reading this month. Kind of what are your summer reads that you are excited to get to in July, the, like, the middle summer month. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Like I said, comment down below your summer reads. Feel free to subscribe. I am making videos on Sundays and Wednesdays. I will be getting back into that soon now that I've had my, my break. Yeah, I also have a bunch of social medias linked down below where you can follow me and I will become active on those again. It was I kind of took the same break on YouTube that I did on those socials, but I will be getting back at it. I'm about to take a bunch of photos for Instagram and whatnot, so... Yeah, I would love to chat with you all, but until I see you in the next video, I wish you happy reading.